We hear it all the time. If you don't have any evidence, you can't prove it happened, right? The 1874 Michigan case of Hoyt v. Jeffers examines one way courts treat this very common dilemma. John Jeffers owned and operated a steam sawmill located about 200 feet near a hotel owned by Jesse Hoyt. On August 17th in 1870, the hotel was burned down by a fire. Hoyt believed that Jeffers's failure to equip his sawmill with a proper spark arrester caused the destruction of Hoyt's adjoining property. No one saw what started or caused the fire. In the past, sparks had emitted from Jeffers's chimney regularly. These sparks had also caused several other neighborhood fires on multiple occasions. Jeffers had recently increased the height of his sawmill chimney and claimed that his chimney had been substantially modified before Hoyt's property was destroyed. However, sparks were seen coming from Jeffers's chimney even after this modification. Hoyt sued Jeffers for negligence in trial court. The jury found for Hoyt after reviewing the circumstantial evidence he introduced. Jeffers appealed to the state Supreme Court, claiming that Hoyt's circumstantial evidence shouldn't have been admitted.